My God is a handsome God indeed. We were just talking about how hot God gets when uh, the weather that, is See, hot. that would be funny if they heard us say hot God. Koshi, put in hot God. Yeah, just like just like find a picture of like somebody's interpretation. Oh my God, I can't believe I want a Rule 34 picture you know, of God. Ko- Koshi hates it every time we play <laughs> together because every time we do, we're like, please do all the research so that we can be funny. I want Rule 34 God on screen. Voice act. <laughs> oh, voice act shit. Uh, okay. Uh, not to worry, Argonaut. The core of my philosophy still stands strong. I forgot what my voice sounded like. Allow me a moment, gentlemen, and also the woman who's here who I'm not acknowledging, to present my presentation. The problem you have described can be addressed through the application of the universal rules. These rules should be chosen in order to create the most happiness possible with as little harm as possible. While these rules may not maximize overall happiness, they will at least guarantee the net happiness never decreases. Actions can be considered moral when they follow such rules. As you can see, the idea of the happiness as a source of morality is still possible. I believe I shall refer to this as rule utilitarianism. Wait, so we like so we just skipped over act utilitarianism and went into rule utilitarianism. Well, it was pretty much indefensible. <laughs> An interesting evolution of your ideas, indeed. You see, Dad? Mill's philosophy is solid, as I told you. Because, you know, I actually studied this stuff. Whatever happened to me having to decide for myself? Yeah, well, that was before you hopped on the smut wagon. On the smut wagon. Put up the Rule 34 God again. (laughs) (laughs) I don't even... I don't even know what a joke is I'm anymore. Sure, I'm sure I guess so. Joke. I'm sure. Yeah, you want to see the Rule 34 God. Sure. Oh, God. I hope it's I hope it's a Buddha. Oh, God. Is Buddha a... God? No, no. Buddha is... It's is, like... Is... It's, it's not really. No, no, no. If you meet the Buddha on the side of the road... Make sure you start stripping. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. We, episode title. Go. Go. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Let's just check my stuff. Blah, blah, blah. This, we're, we're, we're stupid today. Like, we're really... I keep putting my feet on this wall. (laughs) What do you mean by feet on the wall? (laughs) You describe to me the problem of distribution and the fact that accutarianism does not care where happiness goes. This can be addressed by following general rules, which I will elaborate upon later. How will it be addressed? (laughs) Because these rules apply equally to everyone, and the problem of distribution is irrelevant. They have the same chance of helping one group or individual as any other. Will that really be the case? I'm a great philosopher. Ask your daughter. She's so excited to meet me. Dad, don't you think you're trying to... Just calm down. No! It's so hard! Let's see. I'm going to universal rules. I don't want to just see this again. Should I create the most happiness possible with as little harm as possible? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But he said that it didn't matter. Uh-huh. But yeah. I just you uh, whatever. So what's wrong? Yari, I was wrong. I'm sorry, but I'm not quite seeing your point. That would be because there is no point. Oh, I was sad. You lost points. Fine. There goes your perfect run. Now you what have you to mean? pick up the connect four pieces that are all over the floor. What do you mean by rules? Are we talking about contracts? No. While well, Hobbes' theory and this could be in result of some change in the same guidelines, the rationale behind existence would be different. There are no certain rules which, if always followed, would make a society a happier place than if they were not. These are the rules which meet qualifications of rule utilitarianism. Did he actually have rule utilitarianism as one of his things? Yeah. Well, no, It was. I think it was an evolution of <laughs> act utilitarianism. I mean, he was one of the fathers of utilitarianism. I know. That. I'm yeah. aware of that. Yeah? Uh-huh. He was also the father of the of the modern Daily Show. Yeah. Which is... which is John good, Stewart. Good, good comedy, yeah. <laughs> John, John Stewart and and Mill. Right. You, you never you never heard of, uh, of his co-star, Mill? He was actually... It's the guy who hangs out under the desk and hands him all the props all the time. Oh, that was Mill. Oh, okay. That makes uh, Mill sense. Mill Miller. <laughs> you never met... You never heard of Mill Miller? No, I haven't. There you go. I thought that the John Stewart Mill was where you take the John Stewart grain <laughs> to be turned into John Stewart flour. And then you can make John Stewart beer. Yeah. <laughs> mm, John Stewart beer. Mm. <laughs> Oh, what are we talking about? Uh, here I detail the form of the previously mentioned rules. It is an essential step to bringing everything together. God, it's fucking hot. <laughs> Let's see. Well, maximize overall happiness. At least guarantee. Hold on. 
But it doesn't matter if there's a crimes and relevant how happy that. No. But, but uh, okay, fine. 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 But that actually was a point. Ah, maybe he just said you it presented won't. it wrong. Uh, over, maximize overall happiness. And I just said you didn't uh -huh. say that. Well, well uh, no, no, no. You, 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 dip, 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 dip. Do, do, okay, what do you mean by this? I don't know. Most of the time, these rules we should follow are a net gain and happiness for society. While this may not always be the case, such a situation where one's free speech hurts another's feelings, society is much better off if these rules are always followed than if they are never followed. What were you saying? Something. Are you really not going to tell me now? Probably not. You should challenge Fine. Him. Can you back this up? Of course, old chap. Let us consider the rule that citizens are considered innocent until proven guilty. I will demonstrate that this rule increases overall happiness in most situations. With this rule, any man knows that he will get a fair trial and thus is protected from false accusations. True, sometimes guilty criminals get away as a result, but you can imagine a world where this rule were not followed. For our hungry prosecutors would run the innocent men into the ground. Defense attorneys would have to fight against ludicrous odds. They would be yelling. They'd be I, screaming. I have Their no hair idea. would be so pointy. They would slam <laughs> tables left and right. They would make an interesting game out of it that I'm totally not suspecting it exists. And I'm based off of... It sounds terrible. I know! The second game is awful! <laughs> make an interesting game. Ah, uh, this premise explains the effect of moral-based system relative to the core of my philosophies. Happiness as an end. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, sir, can we use more moral Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. This is clear. If you follow the rules, you're Tell me the fucking moral. rules! Yeah, they don't need rules. You don't need to know the rules! Based on everything I have established here, following the rules will da 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 Read. Uh, well, I mean, uh, most of the time, even in the case that rules create unhappiness, we should follow them? Well, no. Theoretically, if a certain situation following a rule created enough unhappiness, that rule should be revamped, broken, and replaced with a more nuanced rule. Ah, rule nuances. If yeah, following a rule created unhappiness, we should follow the rule. <coughs> uh, question that relevance. That related to your conclusion. It demonstrates the implications of it. If we accept that these rules can be further moral good than those... <coughs> Oh, that was a surprise. Yeah, I sorry. forgot. I forgot what I was saying because I had to burp. Yeah. Oh, I smell it again! <laughs> we already went through this! Why are you doing All this to me? All I did was drink tea and eat those, uh, those uh, Sichuan chicken chips. That makes sense! <laughs> Have you guys have you guys had the Sichuan chicken? They're actually, chips? quite good. I'm acting. I'm asking the audience, not you. Okay, uh, fine. We, we we bought these Sichuan chicken chips. Hey, Lays, if you want to sponsor us to tell everybody about how delicious your Sichuan chicken You're chips delicious. are, delicious Lays uh, Sichuan chicken chips. Uh, Koshi, put an advertisement for Lays Sichuan <laughs> chicken chips here. Uh, put you know, he's not gonna do like no, half this stuff. I know, stuff. but like I'm gonna ask him to do it, and then he could put like a giant middle finger just like mm. gently floating <laughs> across the screen. That'd be great. Uh, anyway, what are we doing? Oh. Well, okay, let's start challenging stuff. He said universal, but then they're not universal. Mm. So I'm gonna try that. Nope. No, you fucked that up. Everything fucked up. Your health is getting low. I know. Like me, personally. Yes, you're dying. Yeah. This heat is killing you. Rules we chose are to create the most happy and as little harm as possible. These rules may not maximize. Oh, no, they at least guarantee that uh -huh. happiness never decreases. Uh -huh. <laughs> no. I'm ah, you're just, you're just poking. You're just. Poking. I'm really hot. <laughs> Let's see. Actions are considered more. Uh huh. Maybe that. Maybe uh -huh. that. But then that's we have no idea. No. I don't know. I'm, I'm just making you're, noise. You're, you're, you're making noise. You're like saying maybe I should do that thing. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just goading you. Oh my god. Are you serious? Do you want me to look up a walkthrough? I don't remember. No. I, d I just I just challenged everyone. I challenged every single line. Maybe that's not the thing you have to eat. You're an asshole! I don't know! I don't remember! I haven't played you, the game! You're like, you were steering me in certain ways! You're like, eh, eh? I'm like, okay, maybe that means that I'm right! And then you're like, no, I don't know. I'm <laughs> fucking with you! Look at me! I'm Snake! I'm gonna throw Snake Coral all around! That's what I'm gonna do! <laughs> you paused the game. Uh, I know I did! Okay, <laughs> both hands I don't know, so possible. much fun. I don't these rules may it maximize, but... I, I'm uh, just trying to prove I that I don't follow John Stewart's Mill line of thinking. I don't know. John Stewart Mill's line of thinking. John, John Stewart's, Stewart's Mill. Mill. John Stewart's Mill is where John Stewart makes beer. <laughs> I don't even know anymore. Oh boy. Next time on No Nostalgia Filter, I definitely.
definitely will not have looked at a walkthrough and punched Snake in the face, because it would give me twice as much happiness as it would give him unhappiness. I'm sorry for who I am as a person. <laughs> no, I'm not.